and I'm a sales engineer at Progress Software. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use the DataDirect Amazon Redshift connectivity solution to connect to the Microsoft Power BI analytics tool. On the center of my screen is the landing page for the Progress DataDirect Amazon Redshift drivers. There is some information on the advantages of the DataDirect drivers as well as the features of both our ODBC and JDBC drivers. On the right-hand side of this landing page, you can fill out a short form in order to start your 15-day evaluation of the DataDirect Amazon Redshift driver. I have already downloaded and installed my ODBC Redshift driver. I'm going to show you how to configure that data source here. You will open up your ODBC Data Source Administrator, Go to System DSN, click Add, select the Amazon Redshift Wire Protocol Data Direct Driver, click Finish, add a data source name. The host name is the URL of your AWS server. The port number is 5439, and I'm going to connect to the database test. We can now do a test connect. We see that the connection is established. I'm now going to open up Power BI Desktop. And I got this from going to the Microsoft Power BI landing page and putting in my email address. I then downloaded the desktop version of Power BI. I'm going to select Get Data. Other, ODBC, and now I'm going to enter the data source name that we just created. I can now see a listing of all of the tables that I have on my Amazon Redshift server. I can select a table and Power BI will show me a preview of the data that's in that table. So this table lists all of the Starbucks stores across the United States and Europe. This table is an employee table with employees from different departments, their hire date, their employee IDs, and their salary. I'm going to load this employee table. create a visualization with Power BI. I'm going to select the type of visualization I want to create, and I want the department and the salary to be shown. And just like that, I can see the different salaries by department in this graph. As you can see, accessing your data from Amazon Redshift is quite simple using the DataDirect driver. Try for yourself by visiting the Progress DataDirect Redshift landing page. Once again, this is Edelise Baez, and thank you for watching.